welcome to another Darktable tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can import any folders in Darktable and also how you can add metadata uh, in your images. So let's do this. As you can see, I am in Lightable if you are into Darkroom, which is that's how it works. Um, and then you should go to Lightable and then you will have this interface and then you have to add library I'm already in a folder however if you want to add a folder just click here in this plus icon and it says places and then select any folder uh, as you want from your local computer and then you will have the images here so if you have all the new images you will see that um, uh, there will be an option for select new so now if I hit here nothing has been selected because these images have been imported already otherwise you will find all these images selected if they are new images and that's it and then you will have them here right so now I will show you how you can add metadata in your images for an example let's say this image if I go to the menu here and here there is a menu called meta editor click here as you can see I have a title here um, you can add whatever you want and you also can add any description if you want to you can uh, put your name here you can also put your any if, if it's you just put your name or you can add any publisher names here you can add who owns the right of the pictures and if there is any note if you want to include you can add that too and then hit apply so that's how you can add metadata in your images and um, that helps you to organize images better similarly you also can add any tag um, for your images um, to, to sort out the images better uh, let's say you can name different locations um, countries or anything else um, uh, categories like uh, if you work on different subjects you can add the names here whatever you think uh, you can add any tag from existing list here or you can add a new tag if you want so friends this is how you simply can import any folders in Darktable and also you can add any meta information you will need for images for a better management of your images I hope this tutorial will help you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.